All right, hey folks, welcome to tonight's cooking show. And basically tonight, what are we cooking tonight, ladies? They're over there doing cheese, but they're not listening. Ladies, ladies, can we switch over to English for the show? All right, what are we cooking? Okay, they're calling for Nor flavor cubes. We must be out of flavor cubes. But let me take you over here. Let me show you what we're cooking tonight. Okay, Fatima looks like she's chopped up. What is that? Carrots and cabbage here. She's got a little carrots and cabbage going on. And then I'll bring your attention over here to a little pile Mom, of garlic. Marquitos, you going to you want to eat the okra? Right there. Lunch and meat. Yeah, I love to eat okra, but I'm trying to tell everybody what's on the menu tonight. Okay, now look. Got two cans of tulip, pork, lunch and meat, product of Denmark. Ladies, ladies, ladies. You ladies don't know, this This is pork. This pork right here is imported from Denmark. Denmark? <laughs> <laughs> this is imported meat tonight for you, baby. Well, you know why? Because, because you deserve nice things. Look, it's imported from Denmark. No, <laughs> honey. No, no, honey, is this the uh, same can that almost sliced Denmark. your finger <laughs> off? Manila meat. Uh, honey, uh, is that the can that almost sliced your finger off? Yes. Okay, so folks, y'all hit me up by saying. You get a can opener. I told you something, somebody was going to get hurt. Well, you're right. I need to get a proper can opener. But it wouldn't have helped because it was this can right here that has the key on the bottom. And Fatima almost sliced her finger off. So Kalamansi has assured us that she knows. You know how to open this? Yes or no? I'll try. <laughs> oh, no. Now, it, it went from yes to I'll try. <laughs> so maybe I need to get an uh, ambulance on standby. Or maybe I just need to do it myself. Fatima, you want to try to open it? Okay, all right. One at a time, ladies. One at a time. One at a time. That way, if we need to go to the hospital, the second lady will be able to assist. I don't need two injuries at the same time. Now, folks, do not try this at home. These Filipinas are experts. On a closed course, we got medical personnel standing by. Fatima, I'm glad you dressed up for the cooking show. Could you at least put your hair down? No, it's hot. No. Why? It's hot. I would, I, I would assume that's why you don't have a bra on, right? All right, let yeah. me get you a close up on her operation here. All right, baby, hold it where I can see. All right, folks, it looks like she's doing good. She's coming around the bin. We have minimal leakage from the imported pork from Denmark. Ladies, you didn't know you were eating gourmet food tonight, did you? No. Well, I'm full of surprises. I gotta keep you guessing, baby. That way you don't get bored. If a, Fili if a Filipino gets bored in the relationship, oh, there's big problems. Oh, the perfect knuckle. We'll see it. Wait, where's I the key? Perfect. Hold the key up. Let's see the key. No, I can't see it. Oh, okay, there it is. Good job, Fatima. Now see if you can get that out of there without slicing your finger off. Bloop. That's like the quarter blood technique. No. Will it come out in one piece? I think so. Easy, baby, easy. That's imported pork from Denmark there. It's, it's fragile. It's delicate. Hey, easy. Easy, old girl. What are we doing here? Bloop. Yep, that's the Eddie Murphy quarter blood technique. The last time she opened the can, she literally did a quarter blood chop, chop technique. Day. Okay, Kalamasi steps up to the plate to slice up, slice and dice the imported pork. Of course, she in the background. I got grandma right here slicing up something. Need a bigger cutting board. I've got too many ladies.
Now, ladies, how are you going to prepare the imported pork from Denmark? Fry, fried. You're going to fry it up? Yeah. You're going to bread it or what? Put some flour? No. You're I just going to drop it in there and fry it? Yeah. You're going to fry it naked. <laughs> My gosh, frying naked pork from Denmark. Ladies, did you know that I was going to buy you imported pork from Denmark tonight, or is this a surprise? No, we don't know. I don't know why this is product from of Dem Dem Demir. <laughs> Denmark, baby, Denmark. Denmark. Sugar key. I can't do that, Easy on that key, for the man. Let's take this cup of coffee. Baby, save that juice now. Watch the leakage. We want to save all that juice for the cooking operation. Pour that in the mix. We make broth. Careful, Fatima. Careful, you're almost there, baby. Almost easy, baby. All right, now see if we can get that out in one piece. No, oh, that, that was that was that was loose. That one just slid on out of there. Be careful, real careful, Grandma. Don't be trying to recycle that either. Somebody gonna get cut. Somebody gonna lose a finger if you try to recycle that. All right, she's slicing up that imported pork like a champion. Ladies, I've got all these beautiful knives, and you always use that old knife. Why is that? Yeah, but I got a brand new coconut or a carrot chopper over here. Could slice right through that that imported pork let me take you in for a closer look folks the texture of this here imported pork from Denmark baby I think you should bread this with a little bit of breading and just deep fry it I mean I think it would be absolute robbery if you fry this naked I think you need to put some breading on there what do you think I mean, I really do. You, or you can do 50-50 if you want. Yeah, but folks, 50 -50. just check out that texture. Let me get in here close with the FX3. And Fatima goes in for the smell check. Do it one more time. Let's see your technique. And what's the smell like? I cannot explain. You can't explain it? No. I think the word starts with a D. Delicious? I, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> hmm? Does it smell like a bad boy or no? Yeah. Well, yeah, it <clears throat> smells like bad boy. That's a start. Are you excited? <clears throat> yeah. Well, folks, tonight, that piece of gear right there is the Lodge cast uh, iron six quart double Dutch oven from the Chef Collection. And the lid doubles. What do you call that when you get the grates on it instead of flat? I mean, this thing is a champion. That's the good thing about these Lodge products. You get them with the lid like that, you're really getting two pots. Absolutely beautiful piece of cooking gear. And fourth cheese on the seat over here. You're making a mess with the water. Just giving Grandma something to do. Good job, Forrest G. Keep it up, buddy. Keep Grandma young. Okay, Fatima comes in here. What do we got here? See, no, no, that's all purpose flour. Extra large size. At least, at least it looked, it was supposed to be extra large. It turned out to be extra small. Go to work, old girl. Let's go, baby. Dig, dig, dig. Fatima, dig, 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 baby. Dig. What's that mean, Sabadre? All right, now we got the fan going on, cooling that old girl off. Yeah, now you're blowing, great idea. Now you're blowing flour all over my FX3. Good job, ladies. Folks, you see the stress I'm under with this crack team of full penis here? Oh, 
Fatima looking beautiful, dressed up. I mean, she she chose this wardrobe especially for the cooking show. I want y'all to know you should feel special because she dressed up for you. All right, hold on, baby. Let me show the viewers what we got going on. How are you making this? What, okay, you're starting out with a little pepper. So, folks, he's going with the pepper right there into the flour. What's next, baby? Salt. Got a little salt here. Where'd you get that salt from? In the store. The sorry, sorry, store salt. Yeah. Now what you got there? Garlic. Get a little garlic powder. Anything else? No. Just stir it up. All right, pretty simple. Flour, salt, garlic powder. Mix it up there with a kitchen knife. Man, this imported pork from Denmark is going to be delicious. I mean, I think I think my buddy Eric up at Poppy's Bar and Chill could probably put this imported pork on his menu. Be a big seller. Hey, why are you laughing? Ladies, what's so funny? <laughs> Use this oil now, folks, okay, so you going with the olive oil? Yeah. All right, that's going to add some extra decent flavor to it. There we go. Olive oil greasing up the large six quart double dutch oven from the Chef Collection. Folks, that piece of gear right there is made in America by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, my friends. All right. Ooh, that olive oil smells good, Fatima. I'm telling you, this imported pork from Denmark is going to be absolutely <laughs> delicious. All right, she goes in for an extra, extra stir just in case. Just in case. All right, and then she's using my tongs there, courtesy of my buddy uh, Raleigh. Man, back in the day, if you're still watching, buddy, he brought us those... Those tools are from Lamson Sharp. That, those pieces of uh, barbecue tools are made in America. And we use these things every day. That's the tongs, and of course we got a spatula, and like a two-prong, I don't know what you call them, barbecue fork. Okay, hold on baby, let me know when you're ready so I can follow the action. She breads it up like a champion. Kalamansi puts one on deck. And then hold on, let me get the right angle on the dangle. You may proceed. Whoa, look at that imported port from Denmark. <laughs> Drops <laughs> down <laughs> into the live. <laughs> Six quart double dutch oven, made in America by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. As that starts to sizzle, about my breads another one up. Kalamansi keeps loading them up in the hopper. Are we starting to get a little sizzle? We're starting to get a little bit of sizzle, folks, here on the Sonic single I burner. Yeah. Man, One, two, three, look at there, look at this, efficiency. No lag time, no downtime in this cooking show. I said, ladies, don't waste time, it's efficiency. But then my, you're falling behind, let's go, let's go, dig, 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 baby. And the fan is blowing the flour off of the imported pork from Denmark. Every time she picks it up, that fan right there blows all the flour under the lens of my FX3. Stress on Monday here. And folks, I just realized I made a big blunder. I had the stabilization off on this thing. And on my FX3. I had the stabilization off up until just now because I had this thing sitting on a tripod. So if the first part of this video is shaky, I'm Steven Spielberg. Wasn't intentional. It might be a little shaky. Yep, Why? Because I had one little setting off. Oi. Now, it's, the thing about this imported pork from Denmark, it seems to be browning up like really quickly. But you really got to put it on low. Ladies, I think that's starting to burn. I think I turned the heat down a little bit, but that's just me. 
you know. That's the professional chef in me. I think that the imported pork from Denmark burns easily. Alright, how we how we doing here, Fadima? Baby, your microphone looks like a nipple sticking straight out. Somehow can we adjust your microphone? Well baby, if you lean over there, that microphone's going in the drink with the imported port from Denmark. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Damn tripod almost took me out. Damn. Fire department rolling strong somewhere. All right, baby, how's it doing? Pick a piece up and let me, let me get a good gander at it here with the camera. How does it look initially with the imported pork from Denmark? Huh? All right, let me come over here. I'll give you another look at these lamps and sharp barbecue tools. They're stainless steel. I think that's mahogany on the handle. And they have a uh, like a leather lanyard, but somehow or another we lost the lanyard. Great pieces of gear. Again, shout out to Raleigh, man. Brought those to us years ago. We use them every day, every night. And it just goes to show you that we Americans, at least we used to, when we want to make a product, we make the best products in the world. The problem is we're so damn lazy these days, nobody wants to make the good products anymore. So grandma, grandma, what you think about the imported pork from Denmark? How Oh yeah, the grandma seems excited about this imported pork, baby. What you think, grandma? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what? Hey, we just did a video about translation. Can somebody translate what was so funny? Oh, gracias por su hospitalidad. Alright, baby, how's it looking? It looks like it's a little smoky and maybe burning a little bit. But that's just my expert assessment as a chef. It smells pretty good, but I think uh, you need to put the garlic to it, you know? You gotta put the garlic to it, baby. Get the garlic and flavor. Okay, folks, I'll move over here. Show you some action from this angle on the dangle. I got grandma over here. This washing machine, she wears this thing out every day. And Forrest G steals the uh, the hose off of there. He, he likes to run and play with that hose. So every time grandma goes to wash clothes, she's gotta hunt down the hose that Forrest G has jacked, taken, borrowed. Let me get over here, show you a wide angle view here. Now I'm shooting with a prime lens, it's 35 millimeter. That's why I gotta move around so much. I really needed a zoom lens, I bought a prime. I love the way it looks, but it's not as functional. Anyhow, shooting on a Sony FX3, which is 35 millimeter 1.4 G Master. Right now I'm at a F4. No ISO is at 800. It's just the lower native ISO. Anyhow, camera talk. But I want you to take a gander at my crack team of Filipinas here. Treating these ladies. Big treat for these ladies. Bringing home that imported pork from Denmark. Because they deserve nice things, my friends. If you're asking where is Maria Mercedes, she's in there, in the air conditioning, watching Paw Patrol. It's so funny, if you have a Filipina, they always make an excuse that they want to lay down or take a sleep. Oh, my head hurts, my stomach hurts, and translation. They just want to either take a nap or go lay down and watch TV. Just telling you my experiences. Forrest G's over there on the table, making a bunch of noise. Okay, 
All right, folks. Oh, hold on a second. Let's, let's get one more action shot here of this imported pork. Because she's got the garlic in there now. Come on, baby. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Baby, we are eating good tonight with this imported pork from Denmark. <laughs> My gosh, we're gonna eat good. Did I mention that we're cooking in the Lodge cast iron, six quart, double dutch oven from the chef's collection. And if that piece of gear right there is made in America by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, and the old ladies using the lamps and sharp barbecue tools. That piece of gear is made in America by the good folks in, uh, man, I can't remember. It's in New Hampshire, Connecticut. I'll put it on the screen. You want a good uh, pair of barbecue tools that you'll only buy once? There you go, right there. And then maybe maybe just call Lamson now. I'm not sure. She adjusts the temperature down. Like I told her, I think it's just getting a little too hot. It's cooking too quick. But Filipinas, they're not big on patience and cooking. They're gonna put the heat to it. They're gonna put it right on the fire. Baby, do that again. One more time. Go, go. Okay. Baby, nobody would ever hire you to work in a bar. But that's a good thing. That's a compliment. I'm not going to work in a bar too. Huh? Of course, you've been giving these ladies a run for their money today. A little rowdy in class this morning. Hey, sometimes it happens. Now, folks, there's one thing about Forest G. Forest G. Forest G is a lot like his mother. When he gets hungry, this little guy right here. Coyote. Why you do example to me? Because he is just like you. When when they when he gets hungry, he has zero patience. <laughs> Pretty much like any Filipino, right? They get angry. They get very angry when they get hungry. Little Force G just has no patience. He gets his bowl and he wants it right now. And you try to explain to him, hey son, your mother's still cooking the uh, pork imported from Denmark, and you gotta wait. He just don't like to wait. I Why you need to do imported dimyar out there? Baby, because I, I, want, I want the whole world to know how special you ladies oh. are to me, okay? Oh, no. You're so special that I bought pork imported from Denmark. You know how far that is? My gosh, this pork has been on an airplane. Yeah, in, in Angeli City. In Manila. No, it's from Denmark. It says right there on the can. Nah, you... The can don't lie. Yeah. Listen, baby, only a few short months ago, there was a pig walking around Denmark, and now he's here in the northern tip of Cebu province, about to go in our bellies. But that pig was born and raised in Denmark. What can we do? Are you sure this is from Denmark? Oh, if it says it on the can, it has to be true. My goodness, not always what? You want to say it? Oh, she see the stress on Monday here. This crack team of full penis. Oh, watch out, butter rope. Yeah, but the I don't think the microphone is picking up anything because it's pointed straight out like that. Hey, sweetie girl, what do you need Auntie Mila Jean for? Huh? Well, you go see what she wants, darling. Maria needs something. There you go, baby. Just pull your shirt up right there because I don't want to edit out no, no breasts, no breast violations. All right, so why am I beautiful, beautiful Filipino? 
is over there cooking. Keep her in the background there for some eye candy. Let me show you a quick trick. If you're a cinematographer or a videographer, this is what I've discovered, all right? If you want a true running gun strap or sling, whatever you want to call it for your camera, you get a rifle sling, okay? I went through a bunch of straps and they're just weak. They're absolutely weak. And who wants to hang an FX3 off of a weak camera strap? So I swapped over and then this is a sling for a rifle, you know, for an M4 or what have you. But if you're running and gunning, you don't got to worry about it. That thing's heavy duty. It ain't Please. coming off of there. So I trust my FX3 to, to a rifle sling, not a camera strap. Hey. Just a little quick tip for you. Hey, Forrest. Hey, man. About to slingshot <laughs> off of that thing. Like doing do yet. Make it, make it swing. So, folks, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful evening here. It is so hot here in the day, right? It, it really is. It's hot during the day. But the minute that sun starts going down, now we have a breeze. That's what saves us. And the reason we have a breeze. Hey, boy, get off that. It's not no jungle gym. You know, we're about one kilometer from the beach as the crow flies. So obviously when you're near the beach, the water, you got that cooling breeze coming off the sea. That's what saves us, but it's still hot as balls during the day. It's Africa high here. Once that sun goes down, you can sit outside all night long and just be cool as a cucumber. It's even cooler over by the beach. It's just it's hot to the point that they've suspended some of the classes for the babies or shortened their hours. Our kids are back to normal hours now. But anyway, just explaining everyday life, what's been going on here up in the PI. All right, baby, how's this imported pork looking? Do you think you're frying it enough? I like my imported pork a little extra crispy. So the last few pieces, cut the heat down, let it fry. I want mine to be like tata chip crispy, like pork skins crispy. I'm a little disappointed though, there's no breading on there. Okay, note to everybody out there, if you're going to bread something with flour, do not put a fan right in front of the area where you're going to bread whatever it is you're going to bread. All they did was blow that flour that direction into my camera. There's no breading on the imported pork from Denmark. Hey, man. Bro, son, come here. What, <laughs> what you doing here? Yes, yeah, so I'm a little bit disappointed on the breading, baby. You should have mixed some egg and some milk in there where it would have stuck. Mm, so but you know what? Old. I'm trying to teach the old girl some cooking skills. It's, she's slowly, slowly learning. Well, what should have happened, baby, to be honest? Since this was a gourmet meat, I should have took over. Seven That's expensive meat right there, imported from Denmark, baby. I should have took long over. I mean, you know what I mean? It's like when there's an emergency on a 747, the captain's going to take over at some point. I should have took over. Hey, out of that cooking table, boy. Safety, man. Come on, over here. Come on, Daddy. Come over here, man. Play areas back here during cooking operations, boy. I'm going to get you, man. Whoop. So, anyhow, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video until we plate this and show you how beautiful the imported pork from Denmark can be. Tulip brand, I think it is. Oh, Tulip. Used to be a hotel estate at in Angeles City. It's now defunct. Nothing but just an old abandoned concrete building, but it was called the Red Tulip back in the day. You used to get a room for $7 a night there with a fan. Not aircon, but a fan room. Seven bucks a night. But lockdown took that place out. All good things come to an end, I reckon. Whoa, buddy. Whoa. Turn around and do pop a swing. He likes to do this right here. He likes to do a pop a swing. Pop a swing, pop a swing. Do the pop a swing, pop a swing. <laughs> he can do this all day, but Papa's back can't. Can't keep up all day. Oh my goodness. Plus he's getting too heavy. Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright folks, you're in for a treat. Okay, grandma's here doing her gardening. 
operations. So take the ND out. Uh, I'm lighting here. Grandma's in her gardening, gardening operations. And if you saw her chopping up the cow poop on the driveway, I thought she was going to spread the cow poop all over this little flower bed area. But her, that was not her strategy. I didn't understand it. Everything was lost in translation. Look at this. Look like they're in jail. Anyhow, what she did is just take the cow poop, chop it up, put it in these rice sacks, and she's planted. What, what do we got there, Grandma? Is that eggplant? Maybe translation. Okay, so we have eggplant, all of them. So it looks like we got eggplant. And again, it's just, you know, repurposed, upcycled rice sacks full of cow shit. And what she does, she takes these little pieces of cardboard, look like dog houses. Over here, you know, they use them like an A-frame type thing like that to keep the shade off the roosters. But that's what she uses to keep the, the heat of the sun from cooking them too much. And she comes out here in the evening and takes takes the little houses off and just tends to them with uh, like tender care. I mean, she just really spends a lot of time, patience, just TLC messing with these plants. And again, I thought it's what she was going to do is just dump it in this little flower bed area right here. But that was not her strategy. Now, when they start getting big, I don't know if her strategy is going to change. I've asked a million times, but again, nobody wants to translate what this strategy is. And so I'm not going to get upset. I just wait and watch it unfold in real time. But there you go. It's Grandma's operation here on the ranch. Get you a closer look here. She just got her a bucket. Looks like she's doing a little massage on the soil too, a little soil massage. Just putting all, a lot of TLC into it. And folks, this lighting is changing because that sun is behind us. I think I got the ND cranked up too much. Bring the ND down, there we go. Yeah, she's got them to grow. She knows how to get things to grow. And what I really want to do is challenge her to plant some jalapenos. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because I've tried to plant jalapenos in Thailand many times. I don't remember if we tried them over here or not, but I've never gotten jalapenos to grow. I don't know if it's just too hot, where I had them was too much sun, I don't know. I don't know. But if anybody can get them jalapenos to grow over here, it's grandma. People say, what do you miss about America? Well, I miss having fresh jalapenos all the time. You can get them here in a jar. I don't think I've ever seen them fresh here in the PI. But in Thailand, I can get them fresh at a place called Macro. They're actually very cheap. But up here, you got to grow your own. Grandma rocking that new hairdo. Got hair. She's got her hair dyed at Kalamansi Salon. Look at her go to work. I should have mic'd her up. If I has got the mic, so you probably hear her over there doing her cooking operation. You know, to have a green thumb, you gotta have a lot of patience. Look at her go. Please. 
That's actually soothing to watch. It's like watching a dude pressure wash his driveway. I'll let the, I'll let the footage run a little bit. It's therapeutic. What you see, son? It smells like you're burning. Oh, you said that you want burning. No, I didn't say I want to burn. I said I want you to put the heat down. But it looks like you have burned some of the imported pork from Denmark in my large six quart double dutch oven from the chef's collection. Maybe look at that smoke coming off of there. Somebody, somebody finished some call the fire department on you. Wait, can I put the vegetables in here? I, I prefer them to be in cast iron, but I guess, I guess since you just uh, caused a big mess, go ahead. Dayen, palihu kunoko. Okay, Fatima comes over here to the, this is sort of the outdoor sink. Whoa! Oh girl, easy, don't fall in. She can't swim. What's my cooking gloves doing in the barrel there, baby? All right, so this this is like the, I want to say the dirty kitchen, the dirty sink. Paste it, you know? They wash things out here before they take them inside to wash them. And what we're going to try to do, the ideal situation, is to put an outdoor sink right here. So i got to find an outdoor sink, get that thing installed, which is no big deal. you got a drain hole right there. you got a drain hole, and then you got a water source here. <laughs> And so we used to have the washing machine, but since we moved it up there, we can just put an outdoor sink where the ladies can wash the dishes outside. And I'm debating. Yeah, good job. Now you blew another half of that flour out of there. Note to the ladies. If you're dealing with flour, point the fan somewhere else. Yeah, but they've moved pretty much everything outside, right? They move the dishes outside. There's the rice hopper. I said, you know what? Why don't we just move the refrigerator outside? But anyhow, so much better folks cooking outdoors than it is cooking indoors. Don't stink up the house. Uh, you can get a little bit wilder with your cooking, not make a big mess. Cleanup is easier. So many benefits of cooking outdoors. All right, so Fatima comes in there with this little aluminum pot that they love to cook with. I don't like food cooked in aluminum, but they love it because it's light, and that's what they're used to. So Fatima is gonna cook the vegetables in the aluminum. So it's gonna take a while to scrub that imported pork from Denmark that she burned into my beloved large cast iron pot. Dude, some things are sacred. Hey, buddy, Ro. Keller Muncy's on Forest Jeep Patrol. He seems to be waiting patiently for this imported pork from Denmark. Oh my God, <laughs> Baby, <laughs> it's because you deserve. You deserve nice things, Fatima. Only the best for you, baby. And they seem to be using a whole lot of my precious olive oil. I'm about to lock that away in my office and hide it. <laughs> All right, she's gonna go to work. I'll try to get the right angle on the dangle. There we go. Into the aluminum. 
Get that good Chinese aluminum flavor. Let's go, baby. Drop it in there. Drop it in there, girl. There you go, old girl. There you go, baby. Stir it up there, girl. You're doing good. Stir it up. Drop it, old girl. Yeah. Looks like the old lady dis dispatched grandma to get some tubi. Hey, that's my tea. Where are you going with my tea, Grandma? <laughs> Trying to get rid of my tea. Nice try. Baby, this thing is so slow now. The water thing. We need to do something about it. It's too slow. Let me guess. It takes too long to get a cup of water these days. We don't pay the water. You don't pay the water bill? <laughs> okay. You know, grandma's over here tearing sauce. up a box. You know, grandma doesn't let any scraps go to waste. She's going to uh, recycle, reuse, take stuff to the village, like one of our Shelves fell apart. She's taking the parts over to the village and we'll build a shelf out of it. Alright. Gotta get some drinks. Get rid of those guys right there. Won't be needing that no more. Matter of fact, her father showed up here today. Drank a red horse. I don't know where he got it. He didn't get it from me. He was drinking a cold one. What you got, baby? Black pepper? Little black pepper going in there, folks. Just simple ingredients today. Again with the garlic powder. Baby, you look so pretty today, my goodness. If you put your hair down. If you put the aircon in, in outside, I put my hair down. Hoy, <laughs> <laughs> big boy, can I man? Five years old, can I man? Of course, she loves calamansi. Big boy, can I man? He just absolutely loves her. Kita ni ma. Happiness right there, folks. Tila ko sa kabo. Work it, baby. Work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. Work that, work that thing. Work that thing. She's starting to learn a few little dance moves. But after seven years, the Halloween Creeper is her best dance. Baby, one more time. Let's see. What, let's see your moves. You're getting better. One more time. Nothing's gonna stop us now. Baby, you're almost twerking. You're almost twerking, baby. Try one more time.
Ganang si Kana. Yeah, there's two red horses. Who bought these red horses, Grandma? Tai Tai. Okay, yeah, I know. I know that Tai Tai bought the two red horse. Where did Tai Tai get the money for two red horse? Maybe that's two kilos of rice. Maybe three. I don't know, but I'm not. I don't have money to buy a red horse. Well, somebody bought them red horse. Ah, she he buy a red horse. One more time, old girl. One more time. I'm trying to showcase you about it. Hey, unauthorized nibbling. Baby, it's a serious offense. But go ahead and tell us since you took the first taster. How's that imported pork from Denmark, baby? Huh? Uh -huh. Baby, look straight in the camera and give us an honest assessment. How does it taste? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You just ate half of that. Good, no good, or delicious? Good. Only good? My gosh, you're hard to please. You've turned into a high maintenance woman, Fatima. I import pork from Denmark, and you only rate it as a good. Take another taste and see if you change your mind. No, All right, let's, let's check her face when she nibbles on the imported pork from Denmark. <laughs> good, no good, or delicious? Which one? Sakto. What's that? Um, good and... Not bad, not good. Not bad, oh, not, bad not, not good. Not, not, not bad. Not, bad. Not, um, not good. Delicious. Not delicious, though. Okay, so... It's good. It's only it's good. Half -half. You... It's between... Oh, <laughs> between... <laughs> All right, so our rating scale is good, no good, or delicious. So they're rating this good. In other words, it's edible. No good is not edible. Delicious is delicious. So they're, they're rating this a good. And like my grandma said, old mama Sue. Well, she said, well, by God, you'll eat it because it'll make shit. Yep. Baby, I think if you put it on some, put some barbecue sauce on there, it, yeah. it'll, it'll flavor it up. That's all you need. All right, now she's coming in there with the oyster sauce going into the vegetables. We, we do a lot of oyster sauce in our dishes. A little oyster sauce. Did you put soy sauce or just oyster sauce? Oyster sauce. A little oyster. Filipinas cannot cook without adding soy sauce. Usually, what's it? What do they put? Soy sauce, magic syrup, magic syrup, and some salt. I'm not against soy sauce, but when you eat every meal, every meal with soy sauce in it, you know sometimes it just gets old. Just put no, not the other day, not yesterday. I ban the magic syrup, but every now and then they'll sneak in some when I'm not looking. It's a coordinated effort. They just hey, go get the magic syrup. Hurry up, put it in there, throw it away before Marco sees it. <laughs> like I like I don't know what you ladies do. My goodness. Of course. Of course you're gonna get the magic syrup, which is basically MSG. Without magic syrup. We don't syrup. Without the magic, it's not syrup. Yeah. Okay, well, that's what I'm up against, folks. Let me sneak around here on Grandma. Vegetables. Grandma's operation. I gotta watch Grandma because every now and then, and she's like Fred Sanford over here, storing stuff. Looks like she's just getting the trash together, but she'll have all kinds of stuff stored over here. Come here, please. Collecting ants from her grandma. Get that stuff out of here. Get it to the village. Dance, dance, dance. Dance, 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 dance. Good dancing, son. <laughs> swing, 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 swing. That's the pop swing. swing. <laughs> You're heavy, cannot.
All right, let's get Grandma's reaction to the imported pork from Denmark. <laughs> Grandma, that's a pig. That's a pork straight out of Denmark, baby. Get a big old taste. Ooh, Grandma goes in for the whole hog. Mmm. Delicious. All right, I got one delicious. Yay. It's yummy? All right, awesome. So Grandma likes it. She didn't mess around. She went in for the, for the kill on that imported pork from Denmark. No buck buns. No buck buns. No what? No buck buns. No, this is boneless, baby. I paid extra to get the bones out of there. When you get imported pork from Denmark, you know, it don't come with the bones. <laughs> Still vegetables. Grab him and I can put a little You see, what I'll do, I'll just put ketchup on mine. I'll just put some ketchup on that pork. Stand up for you, please. Put a little bit of that smoky Caesar on my vegetables. It's a gourmet yeah. meal night, folks. It's okay to be jealous. We give you come in here for the kill, so I'll show you a close up of these vegetables. Oh, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Beautiful presentation in those bowls I bought. Really love those bowls. Good quality. I say good quality, probably come out of China, but they're actually good quality for the price. Beautiful blue and white in color. Old lady preps the table. Yeah, baby, pull that table down a little bit so, I'm, so my chair doesn't fall off into the beach over there. Every night, I almost fall backwards. I think they're trying to kill me. The legs of my chair almost go off into the beach. Let me show you. See right here. Because they had that table so close, I go to sit down. The legs of that chair fall over and I almost go into the bamboo. I said, hey, just move the, the table down. Look at here. Got a bowl of noodles. Folks, I've got the Filipinos to where they're actually eating more noodles now and enjoying it. So we're trying to mix in some noodles with all the rice that they consume. The babies, Forest G's, loving the noodles. Get a trophy shot. Let me give you a trophy shot of this imported pork from Denmark. Man. Folks, it is, it is okay to be jealous. Noodles, vegetables, and pop the top on that. What do we have down there? What do we have down there, baby? Rice. Everything nice. Rice. What you looking for, butter room? This boy loves olive oil on his rice. The ladies got him started putting a little bit of oil. And now... I don't care if he puts olive oil, but I, I banned him from putting the, the grease, so to speak, you know, to flavor it. He loves putting oil on his rice. But the mom comes in there for a big old scoop of rice. Baby, do you think we need to buy a bigger rice cooker? No. No? You think this is okay? Yeah. You see, I'm excited about these vegetables. I truly love these vegetables. I'll put some Thousand Island or Caesar, the smoky Caesar. Oh. It'll make them vegetables absolutely delicious. He loves oil on there. Olive oil, no problem. Oh. Hey, sweetie girl. You ready to eat? Wait, Anna, wait. Wait, here, here, here. Here, here. You, watching, you were watching Paw Patrol? Or she move over to your chair, buddy. The good job, man. There you go. All right, folks, let me get the tripod set up and we will chow down on this beautiful meal that the good Lord has provided us here. There you go, folks. That's what life's all about right here. Life's about just having a good meal with family. And you know what? The it's thing okay, about Maria. It is, you can, here, only have many in here. here. You don't have to cook. 
you don't you don't have to go out like I did and serve up imported pork from Denmark to have a good meal. Did you tell me? Okay. I mean, we got a bunch of cans of sardines in here. The Filipinos love sardines. Next tomorrow night might be sardine night. Let's see. The Lord said, "Let there be light." There we go. Crank up the light. Okay, so the ladies have thought about me, bringing me some Kraft original barbecue sauce. Maria comes in with the ketchup. The key to being a foreign guy anywhere outside your home country is to always have your favorite sauces. Always have your favorite sauces. As long as you have the sauce. I'm going with the regular Thousand Island tonight, but that's smoky stuff from, uh, what is it, Hellman's? Hey, can you turn that? Never mind, I'll get it. Baby, breast violation. Breast violation. It's okay. Big booty violation. My gosh, the viewers don't want to see that. Well, maybe they do. All right, folks, I want to say thank you. Thank you very much for watching our show. Thanks to you, the viewer, you make all this happen. You really do, and we certainly appreciate it. Uh, and I would certainly appreciate a fork, ladies. Oh, there's spoons everywhere. Where's the foreign guy's fork? My gosh. I get it. I get it. Maybe foreign guy wants a fork. Now the cultural difference is that. You know, all they do is put a spoon down. Foreign guy likes to cut expensive, gourmet, imported pork from Denmark with a fork. I don't want to dig into that wonderful piece of meat with a spoon. Look at that right there. <sighs> Smells like the grassy hills of Denmark in the mountains. Dimiar. <laughs> Can I get some of that ketchup? I'm gonna try one with ketchup, one with the barbecue sauce. Really what you need is always have a backup of Tabasco. You can you can eat a, anything with Tabasco. There you go, one with barbecue sauce, one with ketchup. I'll go with the Thousand Island on my vegetable slash noodle medley. Ready, you want some Thousand Island? Huh? No? Anybody want some salad dressing? No. Not much. Again, foreign guy, as long as you got your sauces and your spices, it's all good. Daddy, is this water? You can get a drink. I'm not sure what that is, but go ahead. It's the water. Now, what this looks like in appearance is like one of them wafers. You know what I'm talking about? Those biscuit, what are they called? Not biscuit. Like those biscuits, right? Let me take a taster on this, folks. Mm. Mm. Delicious, now? It's got sort of a. Sort of a this is delicious, right? A little bit of crunch on the outside. Not always that. Soft on the inside. A little bit of smoky slash burnt flavor to it. I don't think that was the intent of the manufacturers, but. You know what it tastes like? Tastes like liver. liver? Yeah. Which, I can't stand liver. That tastes like liver. I can't eat liver. Nothing against liver. My dad, he loves to eat liver. I don't like liver. That's a can of liver. That's a, that's a can of imported pork liver from Denmark. With chicken liver, it's liver. Not from me. Who wants an extra piece of liver? Maria. Anybody? There you go. Everybody, hey, I'm not complaining. But some things aren't for me. You said delicious. Oh, I said delicious. That was before I, I tasted delicious. it. Well, okay, well, let me ask Grandma. Grandma, do you... <laughs> okay, but does Grandma like liver? Yeah. Huh? She, she likes liver? Okay, well, if you like liver... I like, li I like li chicken liver, too. So you like the taste of this? Mm. Well, I like that. You like it? 
Okay, well if you like liver, you will certainly enjoy the tulip imported pork from Denmark. If you're not a liver fan, you better pass on it. There you go. Mm. Vegetables are delicious. But hey, Fadima, you're always complaining about. Maybe your microphone is like rubbing up against the, the plate. There you go, right there. I'll tell you, keep sticking straight out. Now it's into the, the noodles. Noodles, no noodles. Fatima always complains that we eat chicken every night. I said, okay, we're going to change it up. We'll change it up. Who wants to eat the same thing tomorrow night? Or do you prefer chicken? Baboy. This is Baboy. It's bad boy liver is what it is. Look at the bright side, baby. At least you didn't cut your finger off opening these canes. <laughs> She seems to like it, huh? Yeah. So the babies like it. They've eaten it before because these ladies cook this stuff like, you know, they like to cook stuff like this. What's the other meat called? Argentina? Like a meatloaf? Is this about the similar taste to the meatloaf? About the mm. same? I like the taste that the other one than this. I think that's what they're doing. They're just, they're just putting liver. They're calling it meatloaf or they're calling it meat. They're just grinding up the liver. They don't want to say liver because people won't buy it. That's just my opinion. But I know liver. When I taste liver, that's liver. <laughs> you want to watch that Paw Patrol, you got to eat your vegetables there. So folks, I'll just take this time to discuss. Maria got her report card. You got, we got your report card, sweetie. She got all O's, which is outstanding, basically an A. So like all O's, then on the bottom subjects, all A's, except for one B. You know what she got the B in? Conduct. She's a straight-A student, top achiever. She got the top achiever, whatever, award or category. But her conduct is a B. <laughs> and matter of fact, I think every report card has been the same, right? Yeah. All A's, but a B in conduct. Well, Maria, you know why you get the B in conduct, right? Yeah. Why? Tell us why you get the B in conduct. You're not listening. And what else? Because, because she's talking. The teacher said she just loves to she loves to talk to her classmates, so she's always doing chismas and talking. And if it weren't for that, she'd be a straight A student. The one B in conduct. Not stop I'm, talking. I'm proud of you, sweetie. I'm really like proud of you. I mean, how would you feel, folks, if your your, your child comes home and the only pro only thing that knocks them out of straight A's is a little bit of t too much talking? I'll take that any day over, over a court card full of F's or D's or what have you. I think I could deal with that. We can work on that. Matter of fact, 
Matter of fact, as long as she's just getting a B, I ain't changing nothing. Okay, if she bringing home one B in conduct, psh, keep talking. Keep talking all you want to, because <laughs> it seems to be working. Got a mosquito? Yeah, there was one on mommy earlier today. I had to get. Hey, baby, I, I, I couldn't help that it landed mm -hmm. where it landed. I had to slap it and get it off of you. You don't want to mess around with the dinghy fever. Of course, do you want some sauce, man? Here. Here, get some more sauce. Here, get you some sauce, buddy. Mm -hmm. He likes soy sauce on his rice, too. Maria, you go eat the vegetables and rice, Maria. You got vegetables, sweetie. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know what I mean? If something ain't broke, don't fix it. Why do I want to make any, any drastic changes? Or you do a good job, sweetie. You just keep up doing what you're doing in school, okay? Hmm? Never give up. That's right. Fatima, I observed that you pointed the fan directly at your head while me and Kalamansi and Maria are over here sweating. That's not my fault that the electric fan like me. <laughs> Good job, You know, sharing is caring to keep Just the mosquitoes me. off of us down here too. There you go. Now I can go back and forth I like sweat. this. <laughs> Let it sweat, baby. That's enough, Lagi. No more playing the food. Maria, you go eat now. Eat sweet, girl. Okay, ladies. In closing. In closing, I would like you ladies to rate tonight's gourmet meal. We'll start with Fatima. Baby, how do you rate it? Good. Only a good? I like this that yesterday. <laughs> what did we have yesterday? <laughs> I don't know. I don't like it. Mm. I like yesterday I like yesterday because it's not spicy. <laughs> no, it's spicy. <laughs> I don't like spicy. <laughs> Wait, that's enough. What did you cook yesterday? I don't remember. Same. Same. Yeah, same. But uh, spam yesterday, not that. Okay, so yesterday was the authentic spam? Yeah. Alright, so everybody likes the spam. No, the, today, they like today because they, they said it's spicy, but it's me, I don't spicy. like spicy. You like spicy? I like spicy too, but I don't like liver. <laughs> I don't care how spicy it is, I don't like liver. I don't want to eat liver. So that's the last time I'll buy the imported pork from Denmark because I don't like liver. <laughs> have to pay the, pay the extra pesos upgrade. <laughs> What's that, Grandma? Vimier. Vimier is old. It's old. Oh, 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 Translation. <laughs> oh man. Allah, the one that the land in the village. <laughs> Oy, the one that in the village in the front of Atirakiel house. Yeah. The owner of that before is Demir. <laughs> Not Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> then you, you've been calling Dim, uh, Denmark. Then we call that Demir. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about the old. That's not. <laughs> I'm about Denmark. Mama said. That, <laughs> Mama said. Mama says, <laughs> Dimir is old now. <laughs> or is down with them. Where is he now? He, he's in the. In he's the, waiting for the. Dying. For the in English and. English and. Waiting for dying. 
Well, why are we laughing if the man's <laughs> on, on his uh, because last thing? Because you keep saying that, you keep saying that Denmark, Denmark, and and the sound is Demia. <laughs> And my end. Sorry, Dim, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Dim, yeah. wait, wait a minute. Is he up there or is he still with us? He's still, still with us. Oh, well, we'll go see Denmark. And bring, here's what we do. We'll go see Denmark and we'll bring him some imported pork from Denmark to brighten up his day. Because that's yeah, his boss before. That's her what? That's his boss before. Well, look, take, take, take Denmark, some of this from Denmark. He'll be happy. Put some ketchup on it. <laughs> Folks, you see the stress I'm under here? <laughs> Try to do something nice for these ladies, import some meat. imported <laughs> You you keep saying imported. Baby, 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 listen. The spam is like twice as much as the imported meat from Denmark. So yeah. I, it was I like about the spam. I like the spam. I went with the I went with the knockoff version of spam. If I knew it was gonna taste like liver, I would have paid the extra hundred pesos. Got the spam. Now I know. Lesson to you, folks. Learning point. Buy the spam. Everybody loves spam here. Hey, 4C, get off the oh. office street, man. Every, everybody here loves spam, but it's expensive. It's like I don't know, twice as much as what we just ate. But say you go to JJ's in a lot of stores. You go to JJ's in Angeles City, they have the spam behind the counter because it's expensive. This cheap stuff, this cheap stuff's out on the shelf, no problem. But you're like looking around, like where's the spam? They keep that behind the counter with the liquor. It's a high dollar item. Mm. Hey, get what you pay for. I pay for imported pork. I got imported liver. I thought I was buying imported pork. Should have known better. All right, folks. Again, thank you for watching our show. See y'all on tomorrow's episode. I think what we're going to try to do is make donuts. Grandma makes delicious homemade donuts. I mean, they're good. I ain't going to lie. And she doesn't have... Or she didn't put any glaze or anything special on it. Just the regular donuts. But I heard and I read an article... And Krispy Kreme has these three new donuts out for a limited time with Kit Kat. You know, chunks of Kit Kat on top of it. One's like dipped in chocolate with Kit Kat sprinkled all around. I think one has a filling. Anyhow, ain't no Krispy Kreme anywhere near here. But luckily, Grandma can make the donuts. I can go to 7-Eleven, get some Kit Kats, we'll figure out, maybe just get a chocolate bar, melt it down, mix a little milk in there for the sauce. But we are going to make homemade Kit Kat donuts here. Maria, finish your food now. Come on now. Way out in the province with no Krispy Kreme anywhere near. So stay tuned for that. Grandma will show you how to make homemade donuts. All right, everybody say good night to all the viewers out there. Good night, everybody. Maria Wave, say good night. Good night. Let them out. They can't see you. You're over there. Come on, let them take one last glimpse of your beauty. Good night, everybody. Good night. Special mentions, special good night to Mr. Denmark. Ah, yeah, yeah, the stress I'm under. Now, folks, if you're still with me, you know, I pride myself on authenticity here. I think a lot of people would agree. That's the only thing I know how to do, right? I like to be authentic. 
I don't sugarcoat things, and if I really don't like something, you, let's say I do a restaurant review and I, I, the place is horrible, I just scrap the footage. So a lot of you might watch my show over the years and say, oh, you say everything's delicious. Well, I say everything's delicious on the show because it made the show. There's so much negativity in the world that I don't, uh, I don't do negative reviews about a place I eat. I just scrap it. I'm like, oh, that place is so horrible. Just go back and format the memory card you know, whatever. Chalk it up as a learning experience. But after I had a minute to sit there, the taste in my mouth that won't go away, let me be honest with you, that shit was absolutely horrible. Don't buy that. Don't buy it unless you have a natural taste for cheap liver. There you go. Hey, I'm just one man's opinion. All right, but I didn't want no, nobody to go out there and buy that crap and say, oh, we'll try it. Now, if you made it this far in the video to the end, I'm telling you right now, don't buy that. Spend the money, get the spam, anything else. I'm about to go in there and brush my teeth like 10 times, get this taste out of my mouth. There you go. I, I, I couldn't sleep. I, I couldn't in good conscience go to sleep leading people on to say that was a good meal. I apologize to the ladies. I'm like, that was so horrible. Never happened again. Matter of fact, the cans on the shelf in there will be donated to somebody. I mean, if grandma wants to take them to the village, whatever, but they're leaving here. You know, it's like Elvis has left the building. That imported shit <laughs> is leaving the building. There you go. There's honesty. All right. I'm out of here.